Hi guys, for today's DIY, I'll show you how I transform this IKEA plastic chair and I give it a more luxurious feel. So this transformation will be a trash to treasure DIY. I picked it up about five houses down from me. It's perfectly fine, but I'm going to make it more adult friendly. So it's an office chair. I cleaned it real good and I'm going to be using my 3M Super 77 spray adhesive. And that's what I'll use to attach my foam pieces. And also the foam that I'll be using, the recycled foam that I got in a package. So that's what I'm going to be using to make the padding on my chair. So the foam pieces there in squares. So I'll just add it and make sure that it's well connected to my chair. And then I'll just add pieces to fill the area. And here's a four pack of foam that Walmart sells for $7. I have those, but I want to save them for another project. So that's an option and they're very inexpensive. If it's your first time visiting my channel, my name is Nisi. The channel is Budget Friendly Creations. I hope you can stick around, subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. So you'll get notified every Friday when I upload a new video. And to all my current subscribers, I appreciate you guys so much for always taking the time to come and support my channel. And I'm also folding the foam over the edges of the chair and then I'll just use my scissors to cut off the excess. So now for a softer feel, I'll just cover up my foam with my polyfill batting and I got this one from Walmart. And I'm also using my 3M spray adhesive for that section. So because I used the pink foam, I ended up having to add two more layers of the batting because the fabric that I'll be using is not so thick. So I added two more layers and I'm using my staple gun to hold it down. So this is the fabric that I'll be using. It's fur but it's a nice soft swirl fur. So I used less than a yard to make the chair. And I'm also going to use my spray adhesive to attach it so I can start to work from the back. So at this point, I'm still using my spray adhesive. I'm just stretching the sides so it can look nice and neat when I'm done. Now I'm just going around cutting off my excess fabric and I'm leaving enough so it can fold under and I'm leaving a piece for the back also. So now I just flip the back over and I'm removing my screws so I can take the legs outside and spray paint them. I'm just going to freshen up the spray paint because um, it's a little dingy. So I'm just going to freshen it up with the same white spray paint and I'll be using this Rust-Oleum 2X. So while that's drying, I'll just go ahead and staple my fabric to the back of my chair. Um, I'm trying my best not to use any hot glue for this project because this chair will be using this chair on a daily basis. So I'm just going to be using my stapler and I'm just pulling my fabric tight enough so it can look nice and neat, you know, and then I'll just staple it in place. So after I was done stapling everything together, then I moved on to working on the sides, closing up the sides. I did that side already and I'll show you how I did this side. 
and I'm going to be using my needle and thread for this. It's just a little bit of sewing, not much. I'm just cutting off the excess fabric so I won't have too much to fold under. Sewing this together was very easy. When it comes to fur, it's very easy to sew fur materials because it won't show much. So even if you can't sew like myself here, then nobody can tell as long as you have your pieces attached properly then it will be good see it's very nice and neat nobody can see the threads very nice and neat and listen I hate sewing I'm not good at sewing even with a sewing machine I'm very bad at it so I'm just going to go around the edges now and just cut off the excess fabric and then I'll replace the leg and that's it and when I was spray painting the leg I also took the caster wheels off so they wouldn't get paint on them So here's the end of today's IKEA chair transformation guys. What do you think? Oh, and I also made that pillow. Sorry guys, I didn't show you, but I sew that pillow together because I hate sewing so much. I don't think I should be showing anybody how to sew anything. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you sticking around with me if you got to this point. I hope today's transformation was an encouragement to you to rebuild something, make someone else's trash your treasure. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please click on the screen to continue watching more of my videos. I appreciate it. Take care now.